Street Fighter series, the grandfather of modern fighting games, has finally made its first appearance on the PSP with Street Fighter Alpha 3 Max. For years, arguments have raged over which iteration of Street Fighter is the best, with many people settling on Alpha 3. Well, those people will be happy to know that the PSP version is a faithful and impressive port. <laughs> The first thing you'll notice when booting up Alpha 3 Max is how gorgeous the game looks. The PSP screen displays the game's vibrant colors perfectly. The animation is incredibly smooth too and the only bit of slowdown occurs during loading. Between this game and Capcom's Mega Man Maverick Hunter X, it's pretty clear that 2D games can still be just as fulfilling on the PSP as anything in 3D. It's also worth noting how great it is to see a Street Fighter game presented in widescreen. Given the horizontal nature of a 2D fighting game, it makes perfect sense and hopefully more titles will follow suit. Alpha 3 offers a ton of strategy, since you're able to pick from three different fighting styles called isms right before beginning your battle. Choosing the standard one, Aism, will provide you with several different super moves, the strength of which will depend on the strength of the buttons that you use to pull off the move. Xism is more similar to the style used in Super Street Fighter 2, where once your super meter is full, you can perform one and only one super attack. Vism is a little bit different. It allows you to attack with several shadows at once, linking combos together, but it prevents you from blocking. Each ism adds a distinct amount of variety to the gameplay, and really caters to your strengths and weaknesses as a fighter. Unfortunately, the game isn't perfect, the only real drawback being its control. Anyone who played one of the 234 other Street Fighter games on the Super Nintendo will feel immediately at home with the layout of the buttons. And you can map the buttons to the exact places that you had them 12 years ago. But the real problem comes when trying to pull off certain moves with either the PSP's digital pad or the analog nub. <laughs> Especially any move requiring the dreaded motion needed for a dragon punch. However, if you're patient, you should get used to it. Just remember that when you first start up the game, you're not rusty, it's the controls. Fortunately, Capcom does sell an add-on peripheral to go over the existing D-pad. That makes the controls a little easier to manage. That was the best fight I ever saw. Street Fighter Alpha 3 Max's amount of available game modes is almost too much to wrap your mind around. When you first look at the main menu, you may get a headache trying to determine which mode you want to pick. Obviously, there's an arcade mode where you follow one of the 37 characters' stories as they fight their way to M. Bison. But there's also an extremely impressive world tour mode where you pick a character and build up their attributes through various types of bouts across the globe. This mode adds a slight RPG element to the game and really lengthens its already extensive replay value. Let's play! You can also load your World Tour character and play the other modes with him or her. Another interesting feature is Edit Mode. In it, you pick a character and use a certain amount of points to alter their characteristics right from the start. Then, just as with your World Tour fighter, you can import your edited fighter to battle in the other modes. These other modes include dramatic battles, where one fighter faces two others at once, survival mode, variable mode, which is essentially a tag battle, and versus 100 kumite mode, where you fight 100 characters in a row, attempting to get the best win-loss record. For the impatient player, there's also final battle mode, which pits you against the last boss in the game, allowing you to watch your characters ending after only one match. There's also Free Battle, which allows you to set up your favorite rivalries. Realistically speaking, you're probably going to play some modes a lot more than others. But the sheer amount of variety is amazing, and it really shows that Capcom didn't want to make Alpha 3 Max just another port. Is Street Fighter Alpha 3 an 8-year-old game? Yes. Does that stop it from being a great new PSP title? Absolutely not. The gameplay is still deep, the options are almost limitless, and the graphics when displayed on the PSP screen are really still impressive. This is actually the first time that a Street Fighter game has been completely and accurately ported over to a handheld, which is reason enough to celebrate. If you recognize in advance that the controls will take a little getting used to, 
then there's no reason why any fighting fan and PSP owner shouldn't immediately pick up Street Fighter Alpha 3 Max.